Did you know that you could find the height of a monument just by measuring its shadow and knowing the time of day? Or that you can tell how high a plane is simply by knowing how far it's traveled and the angle it took off at? Well, that's thanks to the trigonometric functions. They're like magic, except it's really math, and it's easy to use. But first, we'll need to learn our way around a right triangle. A right triangle has three sides, and each of those sides can be named. The first is the side across from the right angle. That's the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of the right triangle and is always across from the right angle. The right angle symbol points right at the hypotenuse. So in this triangle, the hypotenuse is here. And in this triangle, the hypotenuse is over here. But what do we call the other two sides? Well, that depends on where we're measuring from. If we are measuring from this angle here, then we call this side opposite. It's on the opposite side of the right triangle and is where our angle is looking. So if we measure from this angle here, now this is our opposite side. The opposite side is always determined by where our angle is looking. From this angle, our opposite is over here. And from this angle, our opposite is here. The hypotenuse always stays the same, but the opposite side can change, depending on where our angle is. The third side is called the adjacent side. Adjacent means next to, and the adjacent side is the one our angle is next to. So if this is our angle, we know that this side is the hypotenuse, that we're looking at this opposite side, and that this is the side next to our angle. That's the adjacent side. This is why it's important to label the hypotenuse first. Technically, it's also next to our angle, but since it already has a name, we don't consider it an adjacent side. From this angle, our adjacent side is here. And from this angle, our adjacent side is here. Remember, the three sides of our triangle are named the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. The hypotenuse is always the longest side and across from the right angle. The opposite and adjacent side are named in relation to which angle you're measuring. The opposite side is the one the angle is looking at. And the adjacent side is the side next to the angle. And that's it. If you can name the sides of your right triangle, you're ready for trigonometric functions.